Hello everybody and welcome back to the darkest dungeon. We are back once again within this cursed estate and we have a number of new backstories to go ahead with and I already have some plans for what we're going to do this episode. So first of all I'm bringing out the three new people. Uh, we're going to go on a wheeled mission. We're going to go here for the long veteran mission and try and get this peacekeeper which seems really good. Uh, lowers damage but a lot of pro and max HP on healers and other classes could be very very valuable. So I'm pretty excited about that. But anyways, let's get into these backstories because we do have a few to go over, as I said today. So we'll start off with our runaway, uh, Cecil here, which is a backstory that's been written for a really, really long time. One moment. Apologies, I just ate something and it was stuck. Anyways, let's get into this character. So, unfortunately, we've got some pretty rough stuff here. So, we've actually got some okay stuff, but some also pretty rough stuff. So, plus five accuracy. Uh, sorry, plus 5 accuracy, minus 10 stress, really good. Plus 5 dodge, really good. Medical training, really good, especially with cauterize here. Natural, also pretty darn good. But, we do unfortunately have constantly watched, which is low in that accuracy, which is a real shame. But either way, let's get into the backstory here. As I said, this is a backstory that's been written for a really long time. It's by B uh, Blank Gaming. So let's get right into it. Contrary to what she says, Cecil is not her true name. That one is long gone to time. Cecil is a believer of the flame, but not because she finds the text to be morally just or truthful. She has not read a single holy book. She believes in the flame because she's seen it, or more precisely, heard it. Quite often she hears it asking favours, giving advice or praise, or sometimes just a calm chit-chat. It tells of the faults of those who do heinous, wrong, uh, heinous wrongs and request they be taken care of. She scorches the ones deemed unforgivable and brands those who may be redeemed. The people who uh, with dragons with the dragon's brand, however, um, are not home free. They have limited time to either redeem themselves or correct their ways, because Cecil uh, does not give their chances. Really goddamn love that. Such a cool class, of course. The final fire class and a class that has been taken from Darkest Dungeon 2 and implemented to this. Then we also have... The Saw Hunter, and get this, Saw Hunter is essentially just a darkest, uh, not darkest dungeon, a um, like Dark Souls, uh, what's the Bloodborne esque character, and we have Dark Soul. I don't know if he starts with that, but that's just I thought that was interesting. Um, but anyways, we have got some decent stuff here, pretty nice, and yeah, his attacks he can do some good bleed. He does some interesting stuff with damage to stunned. Which is pretty cool. Um, you can use this here to do some interesting damage to stun. So bringing him out on a stun party could be really fun. Uh, so let's get into his backstory as well, of course. Uh, and this is a backstory by Mean Police. Uh, this is Lauren's Fiddler. Eyes on the prize. Pride. Sometimes it's more terrible than the worst disease. Did Lauren's know the desire to be the most famous beast hunter would make him almost the same monster? He used to brag at social parties about how he'd managed, uh, managed a big beast. Today he shyly hides his face behind a black bandana. But that's not the only reason why he hides his face. Even before contracting an unknown disease, Lawrence was a skilled hunter, wielding a large sword and a pistol. The illness only made him stronger and faster. That's just it. The price was too high. One outburst of rage and now he is forced to hide from the authorities. But one day, fate gave him a chance. A letter fell into his hands. It was a contract. You just need to go to a remote place. But it says that there, um, says that it is there that Lawrence will find exactly what he was looking for. And what is he looking for? Glory, gold, or redemption? Is F is he after it all? It depends on the young saw hunter. Very nice. Really, really like that. Really cool class. And then also we have the Duelist. Unfortunately, the Duelist having poor footing is pretty funny. Uh, but we have um, also a slow draw isn't great for this class because he kind of thrives in speed. But we got Brawler, which is pretty good. Uh, extra accuracy and damage. Cutthroat makes sense. Wanderer is nice. Sentry is decent. All good stuff here. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's go into his backstory as well. So this is... Sh I don't actually know how to pronounce this name. Sir... Jackies? Ja Jackies? Uh, you're going to have to help me with that one. Dumas. Anyways, this is the Duelist. 
The firm clang of swords radiate through the night, followed by the me uh, metallic shuffling of armor as their wielder steps back away from each other and return to their ready stance. A good parry, old man, but you will find I'm not so easily dissuaded. Uh, Jackie's lunges again, stepping forward and landing the tip of his blade against the hand of his opponent, making the older man drop his sword to the stern of the street below. And alas, that's my round again. What was it agreed on? 600 gold? I'll take that now, please. Damas is nothing if not a man of honour and dignity, an enthusiast of swordplay as a sport, betting small amounts of gold here and there to keep it interesting. Or so he told himself, at least. In reality, he's a little more than a smooth-talking hustler, lurking in the back alleys of wealthy neighbourhoods and using his skills for coin to feed himself. The duels are just for sure, and to cover his tracks in case he decides to just kill the mark instead. This mark, however, was having none of it. You'll not get a single piece out of me, you cheat, the old man shouts as his uh, hand starts bleeding, running out of the alley to call to the guards that he was being mugged. Um, Damas' sm uh, smile fades behind his helmet, followed quickly with a scoff as he drives his sword through the old man's chest from behind, removing the body from his blade with a swift kick. I suppose it's about time for a fresh start, he mutters under his breath as he begins to run, followed closely by a small army of guards. They chase him for blocks, eventually losing track of him as he slips into a rickety old carriage drawn by a rickety old man. Where to, stranger? Anywhere but here, my good man, he huffs, leaning back against the seat while catching his breath. The caretaker smiles a wicked grin, lashing the horses into action. As you wish, stranger. I know a place just for men like you. Very, very interesting indeed. And this is another class that really good and also very strong. Very strong class. So let's trink it up and get ready. Also, we need to check if we've got a uh, prevent nighttime ambush, actually. I've not I've not really had a look at that. So we've got one there um, that we could take. Oh, there you go. We've got one there. That's nice. We'll just take that one. Okay, so let's have a look at our damage stats. So he's actually got pretty good damage. I think we're going to go... Uh, first of all, let's just check if we've got if, if if we've got any trinkets for classes. I don't think we do here, so let's take the the double healing here. In fact, actually, I could go with the double healing. I could also go with the trinket. Nah, nah I'm gonna go with the double healing. It's fine. Uh, then here we're gonna go for because you've got this, which is gonna debuff with crits received. So I think giving you the um, the Daruma for even more crits received seems pretty darn useful, especially considering this hits everything. Um, and then we can also go for... Hmm. Debuff chance would be quite nice if we can get some extra debuff chance. Maybe we'll just go with this. Or maybe we'll go with this and get the uh, extra... Ch uh, extra buffs as well, which is rather nice. Okay, that's not too bad. And then these two guys here, we've got some interesting stuff. So I think first of all, we go here and here for the um, crazy extra damage. 40% extra damage. And then here we can actually take another one of these because we have two of them now. And we can go with this as well. And I think that puts these guys in a good spot for a lot of extra damage. We use a lot of the same trinkets here, but it really depends on who you end up playing as. But anyways, let's jump into this quest and see what we can get done here. Um, this is going to be a long mission, so we're going to need a good amount of um, good amount of supplies. Also, we are getting a quest bonus on this. I think it's 33% uh, extra XP and I think damage as well. We'll have to have a look when we get in there. But anyways, let's take um, a full stack of 24 here. We'll take um, we'll take five shovels. Yeah. No, I'll take four shovels. It's a bit of a risk, but I'm going to take four. Um, we'll take four of those. Four of those. Two of those. Three of those. Two of those. And... 16 torches should do us. Okay, we are ready to embark and see how this group performs. I'm pretty interested. Of course, bring out Artemis here. The uncontrollable dancing is going to be hella annoying. Uh, but we'll just have to deal with it. So let's just embark and see how we do. Uh, and of course, we do have some backstories and things as we go here. Um, backstory, sorry, diary entries and stuff as we go here. So I'll go through a few of those. Our first one is by Dr. Samus Junkie, and this is a normal service. Morning mass begins with the clanging of the hourly church bells. 
Seven unmissable clangs that reverb through the hamlet, signifying the seventh hour of the morning and thus the beginning of prayer. The old priest stands by the abbey's altar, droning on in his lecture about the goodness of the light and the hope it brings to the world. Though his attention is only half guiding his flock this morning, the other part of his focus is on his recent house guest, house guest, the small one that has been dubbed Little One. The tiny thing was going between the pews, holding out a shallow bowl to gather the donations, a job normally reserved for the local children that the Little One had taken over every day they were able. Dressed in a small burlap frock the priest had made himself, Little One stops at the front row of the pews, unaware of who its occupants were. The zealots, Uriel, the um, pious Tinus, um, Titanus, Tit Titania, sorry, and the towering Lysander, all sat beside each other in the front row. Of course, the small collector didn't know they were all members of the church, so it just stood there, play outstretched, awaiting their financial contributions as if they were simply town folk. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. But yeah, let's have a look. See, so we get extra damage and resolve XP. Really nice stuff. Now, as this is a long mission, this is all battles. We're going to have to go back when we can. Unfortunately, this guy, he is um, obsessed with corpses. So he is going to be doing that every now and again. We have a few, uh, a few folk here to dispatch. Wow, that's some good damage off the bat there. And he got the Hunter's Illness. There you go. So this is the illness that um, that we spoke about within the um, backstory. The the hunter carries themselves with strength and the agility of a beast. They have mastered the scourge, retaining their humanity and resist uh, resisting the call of the blood fueled cravings. Very interesting indeed. So we don't really need to care about what we do there. Call the wild coming in here. Um. Let's just do that. Really a double dodge, that's unfortunate. At least we kill that guy with the bleed. And then, ooh, another dodge. Wow, okay, these guys are uh, doing a good job of staying out of our way, but... Saw Hunter, Lawrence, is doing a fantastic job regardless. Right back over this way. See how we do, see how we come up against it. Yeah. Oh, a trap, unfortunately. Just a bit of stress, nothing else. Wow, 50 gold. Truly amazing. I'm expecting a battle at every room, we're just not getting one. Also, with this being a higher level mission, we've got the chance of random mini-bosses and such, which could be uh, potentially quite uh, scary, so we'll have to see how that goes. We're going to try and get as much gold as we can out of this. Nothing thus far. Nothing really to fight. Hey, our map inside is fantastic. But yeah, I like bringing out new people together. I feel like law-wise it makes sense for like the newbies to all get sent out. To basically like, so the rest of the Hamlet can like figure out their skill level and see how valuable they are. Sort of thing. Oh, look at this damage. Wow. And then you're gonna stumble. That's annoying. Clear some of that stress off of ourselves here. Off the wild. Called the wild again. Got a, quite a bit of extra prot there. Ooh, of course he did this. Bringing in another one straight away. Oh, that looks so goddamn cool. And there you go. Pierced. Now, something we can do here is activate repose. It says stun. I don't know if that means stuns ourselves or not. It doesn't mean stun ourselves. Okay. You're just going to get back to where you were. Stop, stop your shuffling. And there you go, the pistol repursed. Lovely. We'll go for a fire attack there as well. The bus comes in. Two enemies back, like, that can do this, where they can just keep spawning more of each other. Doesn't help us at all, one bit. But this, ooh, the repursed here are lovely. Wow, that is absolutely abysmal. I didn't know, I didn't realize shuffle meant you could literally go the entire room's length. It's hella annoying. Oh, dude. Stop missing, please. Obliterated. God damn, that attack does a lot of damage. Fresh 
There you go, the uppercut for the bleed. Well, that's going to be annoying, isn't it? That's going to be very annoying. Torch, just in case we need it. Got two battles back to back coming up here. Spirits are lifted. One of these guys. Oh, we do have one of these as well. I uh, don't think I want to go for that right now, but we do have it. Nice heal there. The buff's coming in. Definitely go for that repurst again. We'll go double repurst here. I just want to see. Is Cor yeah, Cauterize can heal anyone. Nice. Good damage there. Love that. And we'll go for another repurst here. Ah, unfortunately, not a lot of damage there. Could have stunned, but sadly resisted. Dude, this shuffle thing, this has got to go. That's genuinely evil. That's going to mess us up so bad. Fifteen percent crits received. I like that. Lots of lots of reduced accuracy. I like that as well. Nice damage and a bleed as well, of course. These guys are gonna be problematic, of course. Yeah, especially when they bring more in. You're gonna shuffle like crazy. Nice pierce. I'm gonna call him Dumas because it's easier. <laughs> Another repurst hit there, and there's the stun on the repurst as well. Um, nah, just go for a kill here. Oh, not quite, not quite. Reactivate the repurse next turn, I think. Should have just left him to die, to be honest, but we got a crit, which is kind of nice. Extra accuracy. Yeah, that's going to be genuinely horrific if that keeps happening. Oh, and there's a huge crit from Damas there. Very nice. You... You're horrible. Beautiful. Oh, we got this as well. Um, oh, that's pretty good. I like that. We won't be touching this for now because that's gonna, that scares me. I am noticing a little bit of frame rate lag. Tiny, tiny bit. Not not much, but um, I, I had problems with that before, remember, with the uh, AMD update. I'm hoping that's not an issue again. There a little bit of that stress. Definitely go double repurst again. Beautiful on that that time. Good, good, good. Call the wield again. The crit back and forth. Good, good. 8 accuracy and 10 dodge is rather nice. These guys getting buffed for that crazy prot is annoying. Them crits are coming out doing real good work. Go for that again. And a nice heal on there as well. We can cauterize as well to do some extra healing. Not quite a kill there, but decent. And the stun. The, the fact that that can stun is real nice. We can also do this debuff as well, this disarm, which is huge. Go for a kill there. 16 accuracy, 20 dodge. Those crits are uh, stacking up some stats for us very nicely. I like that. You're stunned as well. Beautiful. You're going to get stunned as well? Oh, wow. Getting lucky here. Beautiful. I'm really liking the Saw Hunter so far. His kit seems very good. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. He just looks very dark as dungeon as well, doesn't he? I like that. I love the way that uh, Damas here has got his like sword at the ready. Right in their face. Get some bleed on there as well. Get some bleed again. Oh, a crit. Nice. Probably should have killed this guy because he's going to bring in reinforcements. But we'll hopefully yeah, get the kill here. Nice. Grab that. 
and driven into the mud. I do want to take these, so I'm willing to give up some stuff here. Um, ba -da -da -da, holy water. 100% of room battles, so we've got to go do this one. We got a hag. I think we do have a lot of de-stealth in this group, from what I remember, so that's not a problem. So that, that's a de-stealth there. Ooh, wow, that's cool. And that's a stun as well. Very nice. And then, less accuracy, a lot of crits received. Hey, the accuracy down already paid. Paid us back. Oh, you're going to bring a new one in already? Wow, okay. Wasn't expecting that. Very nice kill there. Huge crit. That extra crit chance, like I said, just stacks up so quick. Another kill there. I've got to kill all these guys quick. Not quite with a the kill there. Minus seven speed while stunned. That's a really good debuff there. Oh, really? You did it again? Okay, I've got to play around these guys a little bit. Pierce through. The good damage is coming out. I mean, this group just has really good damage overall anyways. Two forms of healing helps too. And there you go, these guys are done now. Nice. And obviously you're not going to be doing a lot of damage, but whatever you can. Beautiful. We're doing really good crits here. More rubies is awesome. We need shovels for that. I'm not going to do that just because we've only got three shovels and we don't know what's going to lie and wait for us. Do you have a stealth enemy once again? Shouldn't be too big of a problem. He's going to scamper. Can't quite reach him, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to go for this for the 18% damage taken. Oh, I, he bloody resisted it anyways. I think we're just going to go for the kill on this guy. You're going to shuffle again. Lovely. Nice fresh reduction. Nice damage. We'll go for this for the debuffs. Extra fire damage taken as well. It's really nice. This, yeah, this group's performing well. That is a, a swift kick in the balls right there. Didn't 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 much care for that. Hey, I do care for almost killing him in one hit though. Lots of blight on us, unfortunately. Don't have any. Actually, I was just about to say, don't have anywhere to cure blight. We do. Our heal on uh, Artemis cures blight. I'm a fool. Wow, that's a big crit. Sadly, your crits do not heal. That's real annoying. Do you know what? I'm sick of this. She hasn't transformed once yet. She's transforming. Bit of healing there. It's only a little bit, but it helps. Especially when we're coming in with the targeting here. So you shuffle, but it doesn't mean as much for us now. Double stun there. This is the first time she's revealed her true form to anyone, by the way. I think she might feel more comfortable with these people being newbies. The, the, the people that are in the estate knowing her true form is probably a little more worrying. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? that. Back we go. I think we will. Don't touch this, please. You fool. Glandular fever. God damn it. Can I can I check what he's got, please? Oh, that's, that's bad. That's really bad. Extra diseases incoming and a lot of extra stress as well. Don't much care for that. Got a hundred, nice. Yeah, let's camp after this room here. Dude, stop touching things. I mean, at least you Packs did something helpful there. Loot are often low on supplies. This is tricky. Definitely want those. Right, some stealth boys. 
let Runaway deal with those, because he can de-stealth all of them at once, I think. Not particularly happy with our current HP across the board here. Nice hit, nice hit, Lawrence. You've got 21 health, 19, okay, you, you need healing. Oh, beautiful. Another one of these, straight back in. De-stealth on those, and extra received. Not going for the repose this time around, because these enemies just need to die soon. Ah, dodge on the lunge, I like that. And, oh, the crit comes in as well. Beautiful. And another dodge as well. We got a lot of dodges going on here. I like that a lot. That's what I like to see. And more crits as well. What is going on with that crits, baby? But yeah, Artemis. I, 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 I'll be honest. I wasn't expecting her to show her true form at any point, but she had to uh, play her card, I guess. The disease that she's got, the dancing. Maybe it's. Uh, Maybe it's making her transform when she might not want to. Maybe it's something she can't really control. Another crit. Wow. Executed. We got a Jude Tapestry. Hell yeah. This Getting rid of a skeleton the key is like so risky. Because like, I'm going to do it. It's so risky because we, we could find a secret room and not be able to get in it. Ah, uh, right. Camp it up. Circle in the dark. And then we want to go run away here and prevent an ambush. A little bit of stress on everyone. One companion removed disease. Who was it that got that really bad disease? It was it was you. For some reason, I can't check your stats. I don't know why. I'm pretty sure it was you, right? Why can't I check your stats? Do you got dancing plague? I'm pretty certain it was you, yeah. It does add stress, but I think removing that disease is... Yeah, there you go. Clangel fever cured. Accuracy and dodge. We'll go for that. I'm going to go for that as well. Right. We will rest up. And before we finish this off, let's go into another diary. We have another one from Rocker in here. A festering problem. Victory. The patrol encircles the past villager. Um, murmurs between them as they all uh, hear the heavy steps of the captain as she approaches. Well, don't just stand there slack-jawed. Report. Her harsh tone softens as she sees the body. The woman seems barely past her twenties with small tears in her back and a large hole near her neck. Her skin paled and ne nary a drop of blood. The captain sighs. No need for an explanation. I already know. Find out who she was. Form the family. Ma'am. One of the younger guards begins. No need. I already petitioned for a patrol from the experts on it. Hopefully the people will be able to be freed of it. As the patrol walks away, um, admi administered to the fallen, um, she stares beyond. She glares up at the sprawling estate, rusted old gates and, a st and stone. A small buzz, almost like flutters of wings, uh, is louder here. The same noise tormenting the town for months. She clears her ears and spits before it. Damned nobles. Really, really cool. Really, really cool indeed. Right. Let's carry on. See how we do here. We have any holy water left? We do not. We've opted for money above all else. Ooh, we do have a giant here. We'll go all in on the giant, I think, here. All in on the giant. We can do good damage to this guy, especially if we stack some crits on him as well. Go with this. Minus accuracy is great. The massive bonus to crits is huge. A, A, 16. Okay, we'll do this. It's only a small bit of stress to relieve, but it's some, it's better than nothing. Poison spores coming out, and that's a lovely dodge right there. Big hit. I like it. Big hit. I like it. And a bleed as well. Nice. The Shriek. 
It's not going to do too much to us. We resisted a disease there as well, which is really nice. The buzz for the more stress coming in. These guys are just going to have to, like, yeah. They are what they are. Confusion spores is annoying, but better than a smackdown. Jokes on you. We've already been dealing with this. Up to 30% crits received. Just activate from our purse there, I guess. Not much else I can do. Not much else I can do. Not liking this combat right now. Forty-five percent crits received, baby. He's gonna do a tree smackdown any second now. There's a crit. Oh no, he's gonna get a turn. He's on one HP. Oh wait, no, he has bleed. It's fine. That could have been bad, but we're all right. This is how a life is taken. Very nice crit heal there. I like that. And a very nice crit there as well. Lovely. Vial of blood. Still don't need that quite yet. But a victory nonetheless. And we move into this next battle. Just some spiders. We can deal with it. These cicada things are like a really good modded enemy. Like they're everywhere, but like with good reason sort of thing. They're very basic enemies that have some pretty disastrous consequences if you leave them alone too long. Hear that blight. Stealth you. Oh, you dodged. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Nice stab. I just love that prod. That, like, simple perk kills them straight away. More blight coming out. Nice swift kill, though. Lawrence is doing amazingly. And there's another crit as well. Creatures Gotta leave that chest for now. Can be beaten. And more spiders straight away. Oh, we got the surprise though from our uh, buff that we got from camping, so that's rather nice. Another one wow! Falls. Another crit straight away. Ah, you've of course got the shuffle going on now. Cleanse that and heal you up. Lovely. Go for an attack here, see if we can get a kill. Badly not. I'm definitely pierce and get a kill there, though. These guys are going to get double turns. A crit on that is not nice. But we didn't get blighted, though, which is surprising. And a dodge, lovely. That's from that extra dodge from the bonus for the crit. The crit bonuses in this guy are great. Oh, yeah, 15 dodge. Beautiful. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Managed to get a lot of heirlooms this time round, which is really nice. A lot of heirlooms indeed. The way is lit. The path is clear. We oh, we've got a few parasites. These can be really try and take them out first because they can be really annoying. Can't really take them out easily. Just go for that. Another crit. Wow. Just crits like crazy. Oh, that's a nice crit there. I like that. I like that. To you, Incident as well. Awesome. So many crits, man. This is like the crit team. Call of the wield again. Problematic, but we can deal with it. Nice hit. And we can fire you, right? Burn you down with fire. Nope, we can cut you in half. Good stuff. More gold there. We also got a summoning page, which I'm, I'm still a bit scared of, I'll be honest, but pretty cool. Um, I'm going to get rid of my torches here, which is a bit of an odd choice. Wield adventurer, rather nice. 
But we're gonna be we're gonna have to camp, which is gonna refresh our torch anyways, so. God damn, so much stress for her. Find no clemency in this place. Whoa. That's new. That is new. Let's go for the repurse this time around, because we don't really know what we're up against here. Of course, you shuffle this battle. Try and take out whatever this thing is. Neck Ripper. Thank God we dodged that, because that looked aggressive as hell. We might get a stress check here as Artemis, which is... Eh, it is what it is. Nice repost here. Yeah, that's brutal. I guess that's going to be a bleed as well, isn't it? Yeah. Guy's healthy as well. Eldritch pull. Luckily, we resisted that. I really need her to be able to heal, but she's going to shuffle and not be able to heal next turn, isn't she? This is a hard set of enemies. This is a really hard set of enemies. Oh, beautiful heal there. And it cured the bleed. You get extra healing if they're bleeding. So that kind of worked out for us there. Five, thirteen. Gonna have to try and do a little bit of stress relief. Nice dodges here. Ah, that's the stun as well. Gotta love it. That that repost is so good with the stun. Ah, double stun. Beautiful. A spiky mace to you. I mean, what really call it a mace? You know what I mean. Look at this shuffle. This is stupid. I'm gonna transform again. Not a great attack, but it works. Really on hair again? She's getting enough of a pummeling here. Really need to take her out, but she's kind of tricky. There you go, we got her. Really one off. At least you got stunned, so we have to deal with you so, so, so soon. That's not as much damage as I was hoping there. That's a lot of damage. I like that. There you go, cut through. Da, 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 da. This is tricky. I want 12 crests. Very much so. Am I going to use this trinket? I know it's really stupid to get rid of a trinket that looks that good, but... I'm just going to say no for now. Back we go. Oh, camp. Together. And oh, I've only really got three food left now. That was Rats not really the best way to do that. Good, good. And another diary entry, shall we? We have a multi-part one here that is uh, quite long, so I'll read the first part of it now and the second part of it later on. Unexpected Conversations. This is a collab between Mean Police and Dr. Sandwich Junkie. It's been a pretty long time since the Captain Lafayette left the semblance of a hu left that semblance of a human in the Hamlet's dungeon. During this time, adventurers managed to eliminate many threats and prevent many troubles. Recently, the followers of the light eliminated the second Necromancer out of the three. Such news is definitely encouraging, but the most difficult thing is yet to come. In addition, the issue of the invasion of insects, which stressed the local population and interfered with the rest, has not yet been resolved. By chance, he has stumbled upon his boss, Basilla. In fact, no, Basilla has the same rights and responsibilities as the rest of the mercenaries and adventurers. Adventurers. If there are no more duties um, than right, 
If there are no more duties than rights, since the captain happened to meet her, maybe at least she would be interested in learning about the prisoner. After all, Priscilla didn't read the report. The only one he knows about is um, about Vixen and maybe an ancestor. Oi, Lady Priscilla, nice to see you here. It's been a long time since our last conversation. Can I ask you one question about the bestiary of our neighborhood? Lafayette said, putting out his pipe and putting it into his pocket. It's impolite to smoke tobacco in a dialogue after all. Basilla was on her way back to the office from the library, carrying a stack of books nearly as tall as she was in two arms. Though, ev um, though even though even though that she um, sorry, this sentence I'm, I can't read this right. Though even though that she'd seen the captain's massive figure. Hearing um, his hearty voice only cemented her suspicion of who she was talking with. Afternoon, Captain. Of course, I'll be happy to ask any questions I can. She responded with a huff, giving her arms a break by setting the book stack on a nearby bench. The Captain was distracted by a pile of books carried by um, bas Basilisk. It's amazing that there is at least some literature left in this town. The captain thought everything was burnt by the clergyman or during the mutiny many years ago. Very interesting. We'll jump into the other parts a little bit down the line here, but let's rest and move on, shall we? Right. The promise of safety. Right, we've not got much torch to do this, so this is going to be a bit rough. We'll see how it goes. Ah, more of these guys. These guys are a pain because they just take so long to kill. At least managed to deal with her stress a little bit here. It's something at least. Wing. Bleed is nice here. Go for that for the crits received and minus accuracy. Hopefully you miss this swing. Indeed you do, indeed you do. Oh, so close. Actually the bleed, yeah the bleed will kill you, awesome. Very nice to see. More bleed there as well. Ah, that fire damage was pathetic. There you go. Nice heal and cure that blight away as well. Artemis is doing a very good job with us today. And there's that pierce. Stab right through. I'm not using a lot of um, our moveset here as uh, Damas, but honestly, it's working out, so I'm not going to complain right now. This, this attack is just so good. Nice. Nice swift kill there. Just about reaching the end of this. Another difficult fight here, but the surprise helps us a ton here. Get some insta-kills on the cicadas here. Ah, oh, of course you're going to shuffle around. Just go for the heal there. Why not? A. Remove that stealth. Get rid of both the cicadas. I love that. Love to see it. Scamper's not too bad. Doesn't stealth you, does it? No, it doesn't. It just gives you a lot of buffs. And no, no, um, blight for us, thank you. Double scamper. Okay, so this guy has... This guy has mega buffs right now. Oh, dude. You can't be moving yourself that far off. I'm going to have to transform you again, which means no healing for the rest of this fight, but still. Got a stun on the one that matters, actually, there. That's nice. We'll go for the extra crits on you. And the minus accuracy as well. Nice dodge there. Beautiful strike. 22 crit. Beautiful strike. Very nice. Okay. You're stunned, so not a problem here. And you can go with this again, I think. A little bit of damage actually kills you on your next turn. But we'll stab you through regardless. Oh, we, we got this trinket back, so that kind of worked out pretty well for us. Because I got rid of the trinket. It's like, here's another one. Get rid of the food. Go with this. 
We don't have enough for a food check anyway, so three food is pointless. Oh, dude. Such an annoying fight to be right after the last one. Such an annoying fight. These guys take so long to kill. Especially when they do Call of the Wield, because that gives them even more prop. Let's go for the hits. We need the damage on them. Even more prop coming in. Aha, nice dodge. We have such good dodge here. Such good dodge. Go for the crits on you. And the lowered accuracy as well helps. Do that. That's a crit bleed. That's really nice. Good bleed over time there. I like to see it. I like to see it. And you're dead now, right? Yes, you are good. More crits received on you, thank you, to 30%. That minus 20 accuracy is me as well means you're not hitting anything. <laughs> there ain't no chance, of course, you shuffle. At least it doesn't shuffle on that turn. Oh, really? No crit? All that potential crit chance? No crit. The buzzing coming for that stress. Oh, no, no stress, okay. I thought there was always stress. Hey, nice dodge. Ah, and the cicada joined the party. I was kind of waiting for that and hoping it wouldn't happen. Up to 45. Crit. Good bleed. Damn it, no crit again there. Nice. Triple stun. I like it. Oh, the wield again. Nice kill there. Good stun. Stop, push Stop shuffling to the front. You can't do anything from the front, really. I suppose I can at least stun these guys again. Oh, you resisted the... It's fine. It is what it is. It's fun to actually play with this class... Uh, offensively, you know. Never really get to do that. Ah, oh, really? One HP left? It's okay, the bleed gets you. Lovely. Don't have anything to open that with. Probably can't open that with a shovel, to be honest. Right, last room battle. I was hoping it wouldn't be this last room, because it means we're on the lowest torch possible. Um, I can leave three busts, it's fine. Another trap, and it's, it's, it's every single time it's been on hair as well. With a singular purpose. Okay, not too hard of a fight. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate, though. That's real unfortunate. I don't want to put her into sliver mode straight away either. I'm going to have to. I'm going to go for it. It's a pain in the ass, but the stun is so helpful. And these two resisted. Wow, okay. That's unfortunate. The blood quickens. Right. Get the crits on this guy. Get them going. I do not like my boy being all the way in the back there. I don't think he can do much from the back. You're going to get a stress check most likely here. Oh, you can go straight to the front though. That's lovely to know. That's a big hit when we've got very little healing. There's the resolve test. Oh, we got focused the baby. Very nice. Back to human, I think. Ah, nice the heal as well. Pumps, the limbs obey. Don't like that. Your blight is kind of high right now. That's a good crit, though. I really needed that. That's a good crit. 
That's an even better crit. Finishes off our most troubling enemy. Just go for a little bit of healing top up. So this is going to blight him again. Yep. He's got a lot of blight on him now. Glad I did that heal. That's a huge crit though. That's a huge crit, my god. Gotta love it. I love that kick in the face. There you go. One off killing him. Taken care of, lovely. This is the first, like, proper heirloom run I've done. Happy it went well. I can't believe we got that trinket back as well. Return to the Hamlet. That was very successful, I think. We got quite a lot of money and a lot of heirlooms. Of pestilence will yet be driven from our woods. Look at that, 54. We got 27 grand out of it as well. And we got everyone to level 4 because of the 33% extra. That is awesome. That's so nice. Right. Now that we're back at the hamlet, we've got a few things a we need to do. First of all, undo that. Then take you in here. Where where are you? Artemis, you need to get rid of that. It's terrible for us. Check our stagecoach real quick. Yes. Baby. Okay. We have three more classes that are really goddamn good here. It's difficult because I don't know if I don't know if I want to take them all on at once, but I also kind of do. Um, first of all, we'll need to upgrade our uh, barracks, which is a little bit costly, but nothing crazy. Great heroes can be found Privateer, here. Duchess, and in the Powder Keg. And rain. We haven't had heroes coming in for a while, but look, they're coming in um, droves at the moment. I like that. Um. Speed, crit, and party surprise chance is really good. We won't go for those though, but yeah, this is really, really good. We've got three really good classes here. Powder Keg already has a backstory. Duchess, I believe, already has a backstory, and so does our privateer. All great stuff that I love to see. But yeah, let's uh, jump into our last bit of our back, uh, diary entry here, and we'll uh, end off the episode. So... Part two of this, of the unexpected conversation. I can help you get this to where you need it. I'm still a little idle anywhere. Lafayette's speech was interrupted by a parasite that blazingly sat on his cheek. The captain quickly nailed it in his palm. I was distracted. I'm sorry. My question is this. Do you know something about these insects that came out of nowhere? And after that, another question. Have you or your relatives um, read my report? The insects come from the courtyard, the mass of derelict gardens to the west. I have no doubt about that. I haven't gotten the chance to sit down and really study them just yet. Annoying, but not hi uh, high on my list of priorities. I want to mount an expedition, but I don't think our forces are quite up to the snuff just yet. The young heir took a seat on the bench, resting an arm on her stack of books as she looked up at the captain from beneath her hood, eyes glowing the same eerie white as always. As for your report, yes, I didn't. Uh, I did take a look at it, and it seems like quite the tale. I haven't had the chance to see our guest yet, but I'll ask you uh, to have your men notify me when she's responsive. I want a word with her. So the parasites from those swamps and ruins, called the Courtyard, hmm? Sign me up as a volunteer if possible. I can't stand them anymore. Also, it's good that you read my report, Oliver said. His doubts and uh, dis distrust are clearly traced. He still cannot fend off that long-standing distrust of any superior. Life experience instills this dis distrust in him. And we do have another part, so we'll get into that in just a second. One sec. Okay, I'm back. Let's get into this last diary entry. This is part three of the same one, by the way. Of course I read it. People trust us to keep things running. Things run better when we work together. The air offers the grizzled man a smile, hoping her words dispel any illusion he might have about any superiority 
that was thrust upon her with a position she didn't ask for. That's correct. We have to work together so that it doesn't get worse here, Oliver sighed. Basilla also doesn't seem particularly happy um, that so much trouble has been put on her shoulders. Talking to her is not at all like uh, talking to the boss. More like a conversation between colleagues in misfortune. After a short pause, the captain continues to say, We can try to talk to her now. That monster hasn't said a word since she's been in there anyways. Perhaps you'll be able to talk to her. I have, I have, ha I have a short conversation with monsters and the blade is talking. And don't worry about the books. My people will carry them wherever you ask. As I said earlier, no, she didn't say a word the whole time she's in the dungeon. And don't worry about the books. I'll call out to the guard nearby. They're probably loafing at the purse anyways. Oliver moved away from the bench where Basilla was sitting and uh, to whistle. And then in a raised tone to call the guard. Oi, you. Yes, you. Stop sleeping on the duty and bring the lady's books to our office. The captain cleared his throat when he finished shouting. What a lazy wanker. <laughs> I really like that. But yeah, that's a, that's going to be it for this episode. A really, really good one. We stacked up money. We stacked up heirlooms. If people want me to do anything specific in terms of districts with my money, let me know. I would definitely love to get some suggestions on that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one.